So chapter 14, four fund. Zaxus and crew are all hiking back up the mountain as they've gotten 30 star shards from the Tinkerer's Guild. Volk's got his five and he's praying to God that's enough because he doesn't know because nobody said anything about how much they needed. So we're rolling the dice here. Now, Zaxus has got to be a gluten for pain. I mean, a, a glutton for pain. <laughs> Snack pouch. <laughs> He probably has bread in his stack pouch. Some hard biscuits, a good good tack. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so Zaxxus is probably like, I have to get up this mountain in one stretch without taking a break. It's we got to get back. Volk does say, Hey, look, I didn't shadow step down very much because I wanted to save my energy for the the back uh, the way back home. You know. Kind of like fast and too fast, too furious. Save the nos for the back home, you know, the back stretch. So, <laughs> Volk offers the shadow step with Addy and Zaxxus. Zaxxus is like, I'm gonna go with Volk, and Volk's like, mm, Nah, bra. <laughs> I'm taking no girl. <laughs> uh, Luke, there will take you. I'll take Addy. And Eviana is probably just sitting there fuming, like, What do you mean? So she then talks about Eviana talks about wanting to practice other magics while she's shadow stepping, which is actually a pretty cool concept. And I'm really wondering if other people can do this as well. Like, are there other magics you can use while using magic? It's a very interesting concept. Like, why wouldn't you be able to use your terrors while shadow stepping or any of that? Like, manipulate while you're evoking terrors? Like, there's, it, it's got to be able to happen, okay? He's got a true form. He's Volk. Seems like it should work. He just made a tidal wave of shadow that made, came up into a shape of a dragon. Like, he scared himself with doing that. Volk tells Eviana, make sure she doesn't, she's gonna, uh, as Master Zelfry would say, don't practice until you get it right. Practice until you can't get it wrong. I, I love Zelfry so much. <laughs> and this is like Volk's, if he has a mantra, this is it. Like, you can quote any of the steps of the pillars, he, you know, he can bulk. He can quote anything that Luther has said. This is his mantra. It really is. I'm pretty sure it's on the bookmarks too. The Volk bookmarks. Yes, it is. There we go. Because <laughs> I didn't happen to have this sitting there next <laughs> to me. Mine's right behind me too. I was about to go look, but yours is closer. <laughs> Uh, so again, Volk deciding that he's going to take Addy. Addy gets kind of uh, close to Volk, and Eviana gets straight peanut butter jelly, like like a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> and Addy is all about breaking her mother's rules. As Volk is shadow stepping further and further up, they take a second to stop and get kind of snuggly. And she said that she would be ex her mother would be extremely upset with her, not because it's Volk, but because she's getting snuggly with a guy in general or somebody in general and not focusing on becoming a true form Phoenix Arcanist. Once they get back to the ship, Volk and Zaxxus, Zaxxus got there first because Luther is just a boss. Okay. Like he could probably do that all day long. He's practiced so much more than Volk has, I'm sure. All his time with Mathis. Exactly. Plus being true form. Zaxxus and Volk are talking about being able to shadow step. Zaxxus is like, dude, you should always shadow step. And Volk's like, yeah, no shit. Like, I, of course. So they kind of, they have this like moment where they become best friends and we're like, oh, I can imbue something for you and you can imbue something for me. And then we can have a slumber party and paint our nails. That's really how it feels. <laughs> it's very middle school. <laughs> like, oh my God, did we just got best friends? Do you like guacamole? <laughs> Name your favorite dinosaur on three. <laughs> so, Carta comes up after and gives him a big hug. And so, Volk has had three women that have thrown themselves at him in the same day. Like, not even the same chapter, the same day. Like, dang, he's really the ladies' man. He is. He does. I don't know how he does it either. I don't think he knows how he does it. <laughs> he's. 
that guy is like, I, I, I seriously, like people are coming up to him. Like, how, like, how did you do that? Like, did you say something funny? What was the joke? He's like, I kind of wish I didn't have to deal with it. It's really difficult. <laughs> After getting the 30 star shards to Zelfri for the ship, Volk is like, Hey, I did something too. I have five. And Zelfri just kind of gives him the, you know, just ah. 30 would have been more than enough. You didn't have to like trade your nightmare magic stuff for or five more. So a piece of your soul almost. That's kind of what it feels like. It, it kind of does. Like, again, there's so many questions involved with Luther just pulling stuff out of him, but we'll save that for another time. So then Jose does ask that uh, Volk use those star shards in order to fix his shield. And Volk kind of like starts reaching down for it and Luther just kind of passes it up. And I, I only imagine just watching like behind the scenes for things like uh, in Harry Potter where they have the, the green gloved hands that are taking the books to return them, make it look like they're floating into the shelf. That's exactly what I picture happening. Just, just, Jose was able to help fix the shield itself and with the five star shards, Volk was able to imbue the rest of his magic into it and ended up naming the shield for a friend. And God, I'm never going to be able to say that properly. It's tough. That and school scorpions. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, Volk did pick a very badass name and it means to protect things from evil. Very fitting. So with that ends chapter 15 with the bestiary being so close to being released and everything like that. We did promise Shamey that we would not disclose anything else until we are told that we can. So I believe after this episode, we will be able to start continuing on the bestiary. I'm going to wait for her official ominous dominus to let us begin that. So we're just waiting for Shamey to give us the clear just because previously we did have some recorded for the updated beast year delay in releasing the beast year. We, we had to cut it out. So to avoid anything else from happening and having to cut things out, we were just going to wait for her official. Everything's been shipped and most of her Kickstarter people have gotten it. So that way they can have a chance to read it first. Every time you mention Shami, I just want to be like, I'm going to pick that name up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I'm not like <laughs> No, I, I know you're not I'm, doing it. It just feels like friend of the pod. I'm gonna pick that name up. I promise it's more of a sh it's it's more me like straight fanboying than it is anything else. I know <laughs> than, than it's trying so to be funny. like, oh look at me. <laughs> it's just so funny. <laughs> Did I mention that oh no. <laughs> but all right, thank you guys for listening and we'll catch you guys next week. Eric Scott and I want to thank everyone for listening today. We post a new episode every Wednesday morning at 11 Eastern, 10 Central, and 8 Pacific Standard Time. We are on all podcasting platforms and are also on YouTube as well for video. After the additional episode airs, we post chapter-by-chapter -chapter videos every day in a smaller, easier-to-digest format. We do want to give a special shout-out to the final member of our team, Dan Mackison, one of the admins for the Frith Chronicles Wiki, link listed below and doing his best to keep everything running smoothly behind the scenes. If you want to reach out to us, you could email us at frithguildpod at gmail.com or on Facebook or any other social media by searching for Frith Guild Podcast. Just to remind everybody, we have links to everything in the description below on both the podcast and YouTube. Before you go to, go to chapter 14, so in the notes, there's a typo. It's supposed to be a glutton for pain, but he's a gluten for pain, which I think is just amazing because <laughs> he's a little piece of I'm bread. I'm totally going to say it like that.
And I just, I'm like, oh, Zax is his little bread, slice of bread. <laughs> He's got a snack pouch, okay? He does. He's got, he does carry around a snack pouch. <laughs> All right. 